we're back. Hello, everybody. This is Tangential Gaming. I'm Lakota, and this is Hellside. Ah. So, last last time, we actually, you know what? I I'm, I wanted to start doing a uh, doing a, a certain thing. Who wants to do the recap? Uh, bonus points. If uh, you do it in, bonus points if you do it in character. Oh, okay. Hold on. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Right. So, uh, last session, uh, me and the boys got into a bit of a scuffle with uh, some of the locals at a bar. Um. And promptly got punished for it by uh, getting the first mission of the day. Not really all that much of a punishment. Um, but not really much other than that. Some awkward dreams here and there. Something rather existential for all of us, I'm sure. <laughs> and now we are fighting wolves. Of the hell variety. Excellent. Uh, Dom, do me a favor. Pick a skill on your character sheet. You are proficient in it for the rest of this session. Oh, and interesting. There, and anybody rec don't know who I am, I'm Steven because Burr, I play Joker Jack. That is I correct. finally got me a Discord. Yes, yeah. that is correct. My brother is now officially has his own discord where he is he is in another room in my house in our house uh recording and finally you know where the voices came from <laughs> me <laughs> they're in our head i'm sure <laughs> i was about to say they're probably in our head uh also my brother also animal handling my brother also pointed out to me uh, last session that I did not explain the picture that was right here. Uh, this yeah. is our this is our fifth member of room 420, Ariel Hawk. This is what she looks like. Well, it's a rough idea of what she looks like. Also, I just realized I forgot to change the color of her eyebrows when I was <laughs> designing her. Oh, well. But, beyond all that, uh, I also uh, discovered another thing. Gentlemen, before we roll initiative, I'd like you to see... Yeah? I'd like you to yeah. have an idea of where you're fighting. I cannot see nothing. Go to so, images. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Go to Where the images, images images channel. I don't see no images. Oh, okay, there it is. Yeah, it says images. Oh, if, okay. If you I all found go it. to the images channel, you will see this image here. Image provided by Shepaku for five dollars. Oh, God, I had a commission done. No, I did not. I actually bought this from his website, along with several other uh. ver along with several other versions. Oh, but that's not all. You guys won't be able to see it, but the people watching will be able to see. I have changed the background of the uh video. Oh, believe nice. believe me. I wish I had the money for commissions. And finally, I would like you all to join this activity with me. This is how we're going to do mu music. Okay, so how do you join that activity? Uh, uh, there's a button. There's uh, go go to where it says voice channel, click general, and then um, yeah. Oh, I see some random videos. Give it a moment. 
Okay. Patrick left the activity. I took two things. Uh, uh, dancing and wait, I'm, I'm and I made them into a oh, successful wait. business. Okay. Hi. Wait, wait, the ad. Apologies, people. Much scuff. So much scuff. All of the scuff. Scuffy, scuffy, scuff, scuff. Welcome to the mysterious forest. <laughs> yeah. This off. isn't really appropriate for a fight, now is it? Not really. Let's see. Right, and we need to roll initiative. That's the first yes, thing. Yes, y'all go ahead and roll initiative while I'm trying to find the right music. This one will work. Ha! Don't tell me your initiatives yet, because I also have to roll. Ooh! I am going to be going last. I'm probably going first. I'm good. <laughs> Don't forget to rejoin, bro. Okay. I'm probably... There it is. I'm good. Pardon me, I had to find my gay dice. Oh, no, I, I have rainbow ra colored. I have rainbow colored dice that I refer to as my gay dice. Yeah. The gayest of the dice, rainbow dice. My gay dice. All right, I have a question for you guys. How do you want me to run the enemies? Do you want me to? Do you want each of them to have their own individual initiative? Or do you want them all to have one initiative as a group? I, I mean, to make it more realistic, it would be individual, wouldn't it? You're correct, but yeah. some, some people have a preference. So you want each of them to have their own initiative? Sure. And I would say yeah. so. Alrighty then. I mean. My screen is currently going crazy. That's okay. Where is my initiative tracker? There it is. We have to play music guide. I have to sleep. Yeah. I'm just like that. I will say the computer's currently running out of crawl. Over what? No idea. Probably playing music and streaming and Discord all at the same time. Well, technically, I'm not streaming. Uh, recording, whatever. But remember, we tried streaming. It didn't go well. Well, we have a dinosaur fart computer, so. Yep. So, yeah. We need to upgrade. <laughs> Well, that costs money. Alright. You 
take the high road, I take the road. Right. Yep, yeah. one moment, I'm just writing down the enemy initiatives. <laughs> Yes, sir. What did you roll? I rolled a 23. Good lord. Yeah. Patrick. <laughs> What'd you roll? I rolled a 9. That's plus your deck? Is that plus your dexterity? Yeah. You rolled a... So you rolled a 6. Good lord, you're a monk. Yep. Um, Bad roll, basically. <laughs> Steven, what did you roll? 15, but I don't know where my dexterity is. I can look it up. I have your, I have all of your character sheets up for that exact. Okay. You have a plus Initiation. Or you have a plus two. Does it roll. Does it not have to kind of be plus your dex? It's like. I mean, how did you roll initiative? Did you roll a d20 or did you click initiative? Yeah. Is that for you? Is that not a thing? Did you not press, like, whatever initiative button you have? Uh, yeah, your initiative button. If you press your initiative button, it automatically rolls with your yeah. deck. Okay, then yeah. Yeah. I got a 19 plus, plus my dexterity was 23. Yeah, 23. Yeah, I can see it right here. And then Joker Jack got 15 because he used the dice and the initiative roll. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that means he has a 17 because his dex is plus 2. Yolanta has yeah. a 3. Oh, good lord. <laughs> oh, yeah, really. I have a minus 1 to dex, my friend. Does that mean you I rolled roll a 4. <laughs> oh, yeah, God. I was going to ask, did you roll a 4? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let me see if I can get this into the initiative tracker. You're going to let me. Y'all be thinking about what you're gonna do. Sounds like it. It's not like he called you a cracker. Are you? Yeah, I know. Roboting. <laughs> Bam. Uh. I will say. I got you, bro. Uh, really and truly, I mean, I'm an artist. Well, like, I'm just trying to make the Dungeon Master life hell. Oh, I already do that. <laughs> and, uh, and one campaign. It's fun. Yeah, but Daniel's about to go up a tree. <laughs> <laughs> like a stray cat. Mm. More like There's a fairy. Four of us that know what's going on right now when we're talking about this. Yeah, a cut for me. So, yeah. Oh, um, okay. I kind of know, yeah. You remember, I live with the of the dungeon master. I did not. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man, I don't know, 
Alright, so we ready to attack these things yet? Not yet, I'm putting in the initiative, yeah. sorry. I think Coyote's still doing something. Yeah, I think he is. And then I didn't make sure I'm in another room. <laughs> Daniel, what is your uh, armor class? You get over there, Red Man? Huh? Yeah, I'm here. I cannot hear you. They cannot hear you. Okay, can you can you guys hear me? Lakota. You guys hear me just fine, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Loud and very loud. Sorry, but you can't hear my bird. Yeah, right? look how. Yep, there we go. I heard Red Man. What's up? Can you hear me? You say you hear a Red Man? Can y'all hear me? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Bastard. Daniel. Yes, sir. What is your AC? Matt, what? Your armor class. Armor class. Your armor class. Oh, 14. Isn't it 15? Mm. 15, yeah. Okay, one yeah, sec. Yeah, it's 15. Yeah, Zelda didn't come to play no games. <laughs> Funny enough, we are playing no games. <laughs> no, yeah. But the Zelda, I mean, it's, it's living life, bro. Mm -hmm. Klaus. Yo. Yeah. What is your armor class? Did he ask me something? Armor class. Oh, fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, what is your Jimmy just popped this coin, so... <laughs> uh, 16. Uh, your armor class is 16? Yep. Nice, what is 13, your HP? so you already know that. Huh? What is your HP? Oh, oh, uh, 28. Well? Yep. 28? Yeah. I, don't know. So. I am damaged tank. Alright! I've no, got that tank. set up. Zell! Yes, sir. You're up first. Around you, you see these four infernal looking wolves. One in front of you, one in front of your group. One behind, behind your group, one on each side of your group. Where are you firing? You're up first. I'm 
fire at the one in front of us, because I'm in the front. Alright. Roll to hit. You pull out your bow. Dis- dis- That's a- Oh roll? shit. A six. You mm. rolled a six. Did you I roll? Stre- Alright. I rolled strength. Okay, no, you no, don't. No, no. So, what Dex. you do, go to the attack section on D&D Beyond and click the number next to your longbow. I'm Okay, I wrote a five. <laughs> Hang on. No, you rolled damage. Wait. I'm Okay. The, uh, net. Good boy. That's an. Is that a nat 20? So when he says. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. Hold my. Uh, I'll how is see your, which one I was supposed to hit. How is your. You're doing that thing so again, bro. I rolled. I rolled the right one. Okay. And it was a nat 20. He said nat 20. Okay. One moment. We're going to leave the activity, because clearly this is screwing everything up. Yup. Okay. You guys can leave the activity, too. <sighs> that was good while it lasted. We'll figure it out sooner or later. Yeah, we will. Alright. So How do you leave the activity? So your first roll in combat is a nat 20. Yep. And it was a plus eight, so I don't know what that. Means. No, the plus eight's not it necessary. Auto- automatic success. You automatically hit, Daniel. Okay. If you would please, now go to the now go to the damage thing that you clicked before, and I believe you have to hit that twice and tell me what you get. Both times. Yes. You critted. You critted. So you roll twice and take... Okay. The only difference is you only get your bonuses added to it once. The first time mm-hmm. I rolled... God, y'all are skipping. They, they really oh, are. Man. I don't know anything man said right now. Yeah. Ten? Yes. Yes, ten damage. Yeah, it looks like you roll a 10 bow times. Uh, I did. It looks like the... Is that a bow roll? <laughs> y'all, can, y'all can see my uh, rolls, It looks right? like the first one might have actually yeah, rolled... Yeah, I can't. It looks like the first one might have actually rolled yeah, the crit for page, you. Though. It did. It rolled two dice at once. Okay, so the two the two d 8 plus whatever is the correct one. So you do 10 damage. All right. So, Zell, describe to me how you... <laughs> what you do to fire at this wolf. Describe to me how you hit this wolf with this arrow. I shot it right between the eyes while standing on one foot. Like a crane. Alright, a little ridiculous, but okay. This arrow, your arrow flies true and lands smack dab in between the eyes of this wolf, which howls out in pain and snarls. Before I continue, can I be heard by everyone? Yeah. Mm, Yeah. All right. So, next up, in the turn order, is the wolf you just hit. And he's pissed. Yes, he is. <laughs> he is going to rush, but he 
is going to rush towards, uh, we're going to say he's, yeah, he's going to rush towards you. You put an arrow between his eyes, and he's a freaking bloodthirsty wolf. He doesn't care. Yeah, he sees straight. That is Not the question. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine there's a bit of wet blocking his vision at the moment. <laughs> One moment while I. Up, oh, did thing again. I'm still here. So can I sidestep him and like hit him with? Nope, uh... it's his turn now. Now he gets to hit you. <coughs> Is he not a level like three fighter? He should have action, action surge. Yeah, but he didn't take I... it. <laughs> I think. I'm not sure. I've never played fire before, so. Alright, so the wolf is going to run up towards you, Zell, and it's going to jump up and str and bite into you. Uh, first. Okay, thing, what about the combo that, that made you and... Yeah, it's got to wait until my turn. It's got to wait until you, you launch turn, and you launch is at the end of initiative. <laughs> uh, unfortunately. All right. Okay, I thought we, I thought you were talking about me and you had a uh, sadly if special you, thing since we were fighters. Uh, sadly, you can't you can't do things like that out of turn. Now I'm a pro I'm about to disappear again. Give me All just right. a sec. Yep. Okay. All right, let me just make sure all of my stuff is on the up and up. Okay. Okay, that's gonna have to wait till the next turn, assuming it comes around. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little. <laughs> um. Somebody do like. Oh, Ong. <laughs> All right. So, two d four plus two damage is what Zell will be taking, and Zell, I need you to make a strength saving throw. Oh, strength saving throw. Yep. So what would I roll to? Let's see, saves. Yeah, go to where save. would my what would be my saving throw? Uh, go to where it lists your saves and then click the number next to strength. And then below you'll see it'll say saving throws. Yep. Okay. Oh, shit. What'd you roll? I got a six. You take four damage as this thing bites into you. Oh, actually, you take four damage plus you take four piercing damage and two fire damage, so a grand total of six damage. And you are knocked prone. Which means you are now lying on your back with this wolf on top of you. Lovely. Yes. Somebody get this damn thing off of me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next up... See, this is where I want my dagger up. That in the head. <laughs> Next up is Joker. Okay. So, what you gonna do, Joker? Help the guy who get bit by a wolf. <laughs> um. Well, let's see. Are you going to attack the wolf? Yep. All right. How? 
Sending out Bubbles! <laughs> uh, Bubbles has his own turn. It comes after yours. Yeah. All right, Bob, Bob does summon the Shadow Blade. All right, mark off, spell, mark, mark off your spell slot. All right, Dis I can do that with my hit. Dis I'm going to my page. Tell me you can hear me. All right. Mm. Can you still got you guys yep. still hear me? Yep, we can hear you. Yeah, okay. Uh Here. now, describe to us how you summon your shadow blade and how you use it to attack this wolf. Well, like I told you, bro. Looks like I'm holding mm. nothing, but if you look down my shadow look like I'm holding a blade. <laughs> Like I'm drawing a sword. And then you approach the wolf? Yep. Okay, roll to hit. It is a... Fit... Oh, 16. That will hit. Roll, I believe it's 2d8 for damage. So two eights. Yeah, two d8s, yes. All right. Kill this sorry son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright, let me find my 2d8s. There is no numbers on these fu- Okay. I don't want to go to courts. So I've come to you, bro. Tell me where the dice at. Okay. Give us just a moment. That was weird. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hello, Jill. Sorry, guys. Told you. They warn you. Now, roll 2d8. The diamond looking ones? Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you if you've rolled the right one. Good lord. 11. All right. Uh, Zell, you watch as Joker Jack runs up to this wolf with absolutely nothing in his hand, but as he raises his arm and brings it down, you watch his blood spurts out of the creature's back, and it falls dead. <laughs> on top of you. Thank you, brother. Yes, it is Appreciate perfect. It. it does technically fall dead on top of you. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, but I can just push it over. <laughs> You're not gonna have to push it over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it is the next wolf's turn, and seeing, and seeing Joker Jack. So, oh wait, actually no, it's Bubbles' turn. What would you like Bubbles to do? Which, uh, which next wolf is closer? Um, so the wolf in front of you is the wolf that was in front of you is dead. The wolf behind you, uh, hasn't taken a turn yet. The wolf to your left and right are next. Ah, uh, the one behind me, then. Alright, Bubbles will fly over to it, and what would you like Bubbles to do? I Burn his neck. Okay, you want Bubbles to attack. Roll me a d20. Didn't uh, think I would need the pseudo dragon stats out today. Okay. Oh, bubbles! Why? Thank you, bubbles. What did you roll? Nine. That nine. I am almost positive that is a miss. Let me check stats. He died bombing his face in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Just muffled screaming from under the ground. Hey, look at the look at him, disappointment. You Listen, we don't have time to be playing awesome. 
You you said you rolled a nine? Yes. For bubbles. Nine plus four. Yep. That's you the hit. Thing. You hit. Yeah. You just hit. So bubbles yep. you give bubbles the order and he he goes right away, boss! Launches himself up in the air and then dives bomb towards this wolf and attacks. Yeah. I may the I may dice then in what shape? Uh so I so either way you're rolling a D four, that's the triangle shaped die. And are you having him bite or sting? I'm sorry, what's the second one? Sting. Sting. Yeah, he has a stinger at the end of his tail. He's a pseudo-dragon. Ew. Eh, hey, why not? He's dive bomb, and why not sting you, the butt of the wolf, then? <laughs> Bubbles takes his tail and jabs it into the forehead of this wolf. Roll 1d4. I just picked two. Uh, so One. He, he does three damage. Okay. D4 is one. Yeah, I saw. He gets a pl he has a plus two, um, but he still hit. So there is another thing that this does. Uh, Wolf has to make a Constitution saving throw. You know that'd be a you know that'd be a pain in the butt to give. Rift in the little corner where I just talked, right? I'm not worried about it. It's like a, I told you guys it will echo. You shouldn't have talked. <laughs> uh, so okay. the wolf passes the saving throw, but you did do damage. Next up is that wolf, and now it has a target in front of it. Bubbles see the. Oh, no. The wolf growls at the little dragon, and Bubble goes, I immediately regret this! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gonna hit. Uh-oh. I don't think the Bubbles has... I don't think Bubbles has a lot of HP, so I think this is just gonna... I think he might just... I think he might poof. I can't call him back whenever I want, though. It's true. <laughs> How much HP does a pseudo dragon have? Oh! Oh, poor baby! He is barely hanging on as he gets bit and fire exudes from this wolf's mouth, and Bubble goes, ah! <laughs> ah, That's Mox! That's Mox! <laughs> Too too loud. Apologies. Too loud, man. You peak. You, and we barely got that. The pseudo the the it small did kind of sound like he was getting eaten. The teeny tiny dragon is in pain. <laughs> That's about the long and short short of it. All right. I had a lot of excruciating pain. <laughs> All right. The last wolf is up now. And it is going to, uh, it is going to run at, uh, you, Joker. Oh, no. That's what the <laughs> would be. I'm holding a sword. I'll be fine. <laughs> and it misses. It goes to bite at you, and you, and with some fancy footwork you learned from the stage, uh, you manage to move out yourself out of the way. But, that doesn't stop the, 
that doesn't stop the last wolf from coming up behind you. <laughs> Damn, I got it out for you, son. Actually, before I do that... <laughs> I killed his brother! Oh, no! <laughs> be before I do that... Um... <laughs> Somebody help the poor... Somebody um, help the poor Joker. Hey, Zell. Yeah? I would like you to make a perception check with disadvantage. A perception check? With disadvantage. Roll twice, take the lower Roll. number. Even if I'm proficient in that? Yep, you're adding your bonus to the perception, don't get me wrong, but you take the lower you take the lower of the two numbers you roll. Thirteen. Good. Yeah, you don't see anything as coming out from invisibility, you see a small demonic looking creature as it goes to attack you. Hey Dom, remember that question I asked you? Uh you kind of bro. Hang on. You kinda of out. Yeah, one morph and one and, and two of them. Uh, you are hit with a stinger from the back of the creature's tail. Who? Zell. But what I was asking was, hey Dom, remember that question I asked you about which is scarier? Yeah. Yeah, you're fighting both. Good. <laughs> this. This is hell. There are no imps here. <laughs> well, I remember the name of the good. Something just stung me in the ass. Uh, Zell, I need you to roll a constitution saving throw. <laughs> oh, that's this is pretty hell. good. <laughs> I rolled an eight. Uh, is that with your con bonus? Yes, it is. Oh, dear. Yes, I think. So I have to roll some more dice. Did Badger uh, did, not you know. or did he move? Okay. Me and <laughs> Zell, first thing is, you take five points of damage. Of piercing damage. Oh. How are you on HP right now? Pretty low. You're about to be I'm lower. I'm on 14. You're about to be lower. Z Zell, take nine points of poison damage. Oh, fuck. Uh, who do I oh, God. Um. Yulant, make a perception check with disadvantage. Jack, I may need you to heal me in the middle of this battle. <laughs> if the wolves don't uh, get nine. first <laughs> yeah you don't see it either as another imp comes out of invisibility and attacks you as well <laughs> I'm about dead guys uh your Ooh. armor class is your armor class is 16 you want yeah. yeah you're getting hit mm. I need you to make a constitution saving throw Yep. Cocked. Twelve. Uh, 
I actually think you pass. Good news, you pass. You'll be taking half damage. Good. First, you take seven points of piercing damage. And six points of poison damage. Cool. And finally, the last wolf is going to come up behind... You know what? Klaus hasn't been hit yet, so it's going to go after Klaus. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Joker has two wolves up. I can share. <laughs> Klaus, you're hit. As this, as this fiery wolf runs up to you and bites down on your arm. Okay, so I have Hellish Rebuke. You do. Can I use that? You absolutely can. Let me do this damage first, and then I will make the saving throw. Tell me what the what's the save DC? Um, I don't know. I don't even see. Hang on, I'll find it. Hold on. I'll look up how it should be for that quick. Oh. Uh, it's a... It's, oh, dear lord. Uh, uh, okay, hold on. All right. I don't remember. It's like... This is the tiefling one, 12? right? Twelve. Yeah, twelve. This is tax slash say dex twelve. I scroll down on it. Excellent. Um, I need you to make a. I need you to make a strength saving throw. You're also taking okay. six uh, piercing damage. Okay. Uh, ten on the saving throw. Is that with your bonuses? Yes. Okay, you are knocked prone. Uh, you also take two fire damage. Um, and that's already cut in half. Oh, okay. Uh, I know what the spell I have to use after this. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to make the constitution saving throw for the wolf. Is it constitution? Dexterity. Oh, dexterity, yeah, dex. okay. Uh, that is a five. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I've been forgetting to say what numbers they're rolling. That's my bad. All yeah, I know I is I'm, I I need to yeah, he fails. Roll, uh, roll your damage. Okay, so three d ten. Yup. So I rolled the the the, the uh, ten three times. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so seven. Eight and nine. Seven, eight, nine. The rolls. Seven, eight, nine? Yep. Ironic. Uh, so that's. 24. 24? Yep. Alright. Uh, you. As you hit the ground, Klaus, describe to us what it looks like when. As Klaus taps into his infernal heritage to release these flames from his body. Okay, I'm sorry. You cut in and out. I didn't hear a thing. It was a... Ex explain what this looks like as your character expels these flames at this wolf. 
Okay, yeah. so as Klaus is falling to his back, he hits the ground, and flames shoot out as this wolf is, like, on top of him. All right. You like watch... You watch as the flames wash over this wolf. And they do hurt it, but it's clear they don't hurt it as much as it probably should have. The should wolf... The wolf uh, will take... But, be that as it may, the wolf still dies. Mm. You killed it by one. You... The flames... Your flames prove to be hotter as this dog goes up in cinders and falls over dead on top of you. Two wolves down. I don't know how many is left. We'll kill two, so that means two should be real. Okay. Um, I do believe... Wait, what's the girl doing? Uh, Ariel comes after Klaus. Klaus, it is your turn. Okay. Um, so, wow. How far away is the nearest wolf? Uh, the nearest wolf, let me think. The nearest wolf is right in front of you because it's attacking Joker Jack. Yeah, what's the name? <laughs> it's not very far away. Can I black it for you guys? <laughs> huh? What? Dom, can you hear me? What? Yeah, we. I can hear you. Yeah, what's we up? can. Was oh, I asked I a question? I... Can you hear me? Yes. If you're fine and Daniel's fine, but... Them two, they're like cutting in and out. I can't hear anything Steven's saying right now. Weird. I can okay, hear. Okay, I can hear Lakota now. Okay. I can hear. Now that. I can. It's only sometimes. Okay, so. Okay. It does. It, it does that oh, for me too. Turn. But I can only hear him sometimes. Hmm. Uh, All right. Let so. What? One, one quick sec. I'm going to leave the call and I'm going to come back in. Okay. Okay. That usually fixes the issue. Disconnect. Mm -hmm. All right. How do I sound now? Yeah. Claire's day. Okay. For now, you sound great. Okay. For now. So, yeah. the nearest wolf is directly in front of you. It is currently at harassing Joker Jack. Also in front of you, there is an imp that is harassing that is harassing Zell, who is still on his back on the ground. There is also an imp. A, there is also an imp assailing Yulant, who is next to you. Okay, Klaus is going to headbutt the imp next to Yulant. All right, uh, you rush up and bring your head towards this small, devilish creature. Roll to hit. Okay. You got a 17. That will hit. Uh, this is an unarmed attack, so... Um, 1d4 yes, plus 3. 1d4 one, one plus 3. So, 5. 5, okay. One quick moment while I remind myself how much HP these things have. Do you guys hear me just fine, or...? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I said it's ironic my Discord picture we're fighting wolves. <laughs> okay. How much damage you say you deal? Uh wait on. Uh Bob. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you seriously hurt it with that, with that move. Is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Okay, I'm going to use a cue point to use Fury of Blows, which now will give me two more unarmed attacks. You are correct. 
And then I'm going to this time kick the imp. You, what does it look like as you go to kick this imp with your hooved feet? Just imagine a who flying at this small imp's face, just like sport and kicking it. <laughs> I imagine you just sort of jump up and kick. Right. So All right, roll to for hit. this one, I'll roll Fury of Blows, or what I uh, do Armed Attack, because I'm uh, doing two do Unarmed attack, attack for or... Fury of Blows. Go ahead and do Unarmed Attack. They use the same stats. Okay. That is a 19 to hit. That will hit. <laughs> and, so... and then my damage will be 7. Um, you bring your fist into this imp, and it splatters against your fist. <laughs> or, sorry, not your fist. It splatters against my, your hoof. My hoof. Yeah. You have one more attack. Okay, so is a wolf or the imp the closest now? Uh, the wolf would be closer. Are. The wolf would be closer to you. Okay, I will attack the wolf this time. Also running in head you rush forward. You rush forward. Lower yourself down. Roll to hit. 19. That will all... Good lord, you're rolling... You're <laughs> rolling like a fiend. <laughs> uh, and the damage is... 6. 6 damage to the wolf. Alright. Uh, it, uh, okay. it also looks quite hurt. Right, and then that will be the end of my. Right. So this is the same wolf as that okay. jo Joker yeah, Jack, good. right? Yes, this is the wolf that is attacking Joker Jack. Okay. Um, it is now Ariel's turn, and give me a moment while I figure out what she's going to do. Do 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 do. do. Okay, yeah, I know what she's going to do. Totally heal. Ariel is going to Ariel is going to rush over to Zell and she is going to smack her hand on his chest very hard but as she does so a war, a hot feeling spreads through your chest as she casts cure wounds at first level oh. mm, my inner power gamer is disappointed your inner power gamer what, Dom? My inner power gamer is disappointed spell choice. <laughs> <laughs> well, what? At, at the end of this session, I will explain to you why her spell choice was that. Now that you actually get to see her in a fight. That's three plus... I uh, assume that she's a combat medic. Uh, you get six that was HP. My... You get six HP back. Thank God. <laughs> Hurt a little less. Uh, she will then. Uh, yeah, she will then use her bonus action and turn to Joker Jack and smack her other hand against his back. I didn't take any damage. Did I? No, you haven't taken any damage. She's not healing you. This is a bonus action. Oh. As she smacks her hand against your back, once again, it hurts! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> but as she does so, a hot feeling spreads to your back, and it feels like there's a piece of parchment now placed on your back. You can't see it, but... A light wraps around you. She has cast Shield of Faith. Your AC goes up by two. It better not be a kick me sign on my back. Mm. Dom, it is finally your turn. You launch, what would you like to do? <laughs> well, so originally I was going to send Zell up a tree. You still can. And I uh, yes. But now there are a lot more issues, and frankly, I just want to get the damage train going at this point. <laughs> so, 
Yulant is going to take a deep breath in, and a malicious Charm. gleam is going to enter his eye as a sort of malignant darkness on his XL leaps out of his body and uh, surrounds him in sort of dark aura as I pop a Well of Darkness point to activate Well of Darkness. Excellent. What does it feel like as you tap into this power that you don't truly understand? Pure, unadulterated schadenfreude. And who shall be your first victim, Dark Knight? Uh, the imp around Zell. You approach... As I swing at it with my silver greatsword. You approach the imp with your silver greatsword and bring it down. Roll to hit. <laughs> I hate myself today. Seven. <laughs> Is that with your bonuses? <laughs> My bonuses are only to attack with Well of Darkness, friend, on damage. Alright, so... It's fine, it's still gonna take damage. It is still gonna take damage because your weapon mastery ability kicks in. What is your strength modifier? Three. Alright. The imp barely manages to get out of the way, but as it does, you scrape it against the... Sh arm with the side of your silver greatsword, and it sort of <laughs> hisses as it takes three points of damage. Can I, like, pop the inspiration I got a while back and take another action? <laughs> uh, I did. I, I will let you redo that, because if you just thought about it... Yeah, go ahead. I will. I, I can just erase that. Go ahead. Uh, roll again. Oh, okay. Sixteen. There that we go. Will hit. <laughs> Roll your damage. Let's see if you can. Okay, so uh, let's see if you can one shot the sucker. Ten. Uh, so that's uh, five normal damage. Give me a second, because <laughs> I need to <clears throat> remember how that works. Right, quick, right. And then, one d six. Opening up another app, uh, and then three additional necrotic damage. All right, so that's a so good that's total. eight in total. Eight in total. Good lord. Which, you, if this is an imp, you bring your blade down, and it. It does more than hiss, it screams. But it's not dead. Mm, not much left, though. No, no, it does not have much left. I'm guessing you probably have some of these HPs memorized. I've played Baldur's Gate. <laughs> <laughs> they max out at like 12, maybe 10. Alright, and with that, we go back up to the top. Zell, it is your turn. You are still on the ground with a wolf on top of you. And an imp too close for comfort. What do you do? <laughs> I'm gonna attack the imp with... Are you gonna get off the ground first? Because, other because otherwise you have disadvantage to attack. Yes, I'm going to get off the ground first. All right, you use half your movement to get up. I get up. Feet. I push the wolf. Huh? Yeah, I push the wolf off me and get up. And then I attack the imp with my. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm just going to shoot it with my bow again. Uh, it's within melee range. You will have disadvantage to hit if you use your bow. Okay, never mind. I will use my hand. No, I want to use my trident. I want to use my trident. Go ahead, use your trident. You pull out your trident and and thrust it towards this imp. Roll to hit. 21. You hit. Good lord. Wait, hang on. Is that a... Don't... No, no. No, no. There's no way. Okay, no. It was not another nat 20. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, you definitely hit roll damage, although I don't think it matters. It's dead anyways. 
Hey. Uh, it's dead. You pop the thing. <laughs> you you stab through it, and it pops like a balloon. Hmm. Didn't know they did that. Uh, Must be fun at parties in hell. <laughs> Joker, I just remembered something. What? No, wait. You're right. You didn't get hit, so no, you don't have to make a con. You don't have to make a concentration check. Uh, you have a wolf on you and a wolf attacking your little buddy. What do you do? I don't know how bad injury the wolf is in front of me. Uh, it looks pretty hurt at this point. Yeah, I'm just gonna put on some misery. I still have my sword with me. Yes, you have it until you either lose concentration or drop the spell. Or until the spell uh, ends naturally. I don't know if bringing uh, sand bubbles away is an action, though. Uh, I don't recall. Hang on, I'll check. It didn't send it away yet. He's he's barely creeping on. Um. Yeah, he's, thinking that, but... he's mainly asking if it if it's an action to send it to uh, the pocket dimension. Okay. If... Oh God. Hold on. Look out, your wife's here! What? Your wife is here with the kids, or your, you know, your, your woman. Hang on, guys, I'll be right back, okay? Yep. Uh, go ahead and roll to hit. Yep. I rolled a five. I think it is. So. I'm going to just write all of this stuff down and roll 20, I swear. <laughs> I'm tired of not being able to see your thing. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping that there's more than one enemy left. When I when it gets to my turn, because I have a thing I want to do. Do you feel like you are being left out of the bell? Not necessarily. You just want to have fun killing things. No, I just want to use my magic. <laughs> well, right now I know there's two Which wolves is. left. The issue Sorry is if any of that. you are in my way. I am very... No issue, Holmes. I'm very sorry about that. Huh? Uh, she was dropping off something that got mixed up with some of the stuff that she had with her. Um, it was Steven, so she brought it back. Alright, what did you I roll to hit? Mom. What did you roll to hit? Bad. You miss. Knew it. Tragically. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the wolf bobs out of the way. Um, it would now be Bubbles' turn. Uh, do we know I can send it back as action, or...? Uh, I think I just have to click the Find Familiar spell. Hang on. As an action, it's an action. It's a full action, which you've already attacked, so you can't 
do that this turn. Crack! Help. Hold on. What? Mm. So how are your elk guys doing? I'm not too bad. I'm planning my next attack. I mean, if it gets to you. I would say Klaus is pretty happy about his attack. Klaus well, it depends on if uh, anybody's in my way. <laughs> if I can position myself so that they're not, I will be very happy with myself. Klaus did a really good job on his attack. Good lord. Klaus did really good. Yep. Hey, it, it was all that food he was storing up on. You're going to have to sacrifice the food after you fuck. <laughs> So, Steven is going. Steven's going to have to uh, hop off of Discord. Uh, his girlfriend's calling. Uh, he can still play. He's just gonna have to come in here. I gotta quickly yeah. move the mic. Oops. All right. I need to stop. He keeps coming in here with the audio stuff. <laughs> there you go. You are now off of Discord. What's what is Klaus planning, Patrick? Um, I think he may use his tail next next time. Okay. Okay. So, who's up next after? Who's up next after Joker? Ah, it's that. Okay. Bubbles. Uh, yeah, it's Bubbles, but then it's the wolf that Bubbles is fighting. I think Bubbles needs to retreat. What was that? I couldn't hear you. I think Bubbles needs Bubbles to retreat. Bubbles needs to get the hell out of there. <laughs> so what do we have left? One wolf and one imp? Or... Uh, no. Both imps are dead. It's just two hell-afflicted wolves at this point. Bubbles needs to fly straight up. Sorry about walking in with Discord on, guys. Ugh. So what's Bubbles up to, huh? <laughs> yeah, what's what's Bubbles doing? <laughs> Faking what's going to happen. Wearing, sweating, looking at his boss. You know you can have Bubbles disengage, right? Yeah, he disengage, I guess. Okay, and do you have him move? Yeah, on my shoulder. All right, Bubbles, seeing the angry wolf in front of him, goes, Ah, uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna go over there. And he flies back to Joker. <laughs> with Smart rapid nerd. speed. The wolf follows. Oh, God. The wolf, but the wolf is going to attack... Uh, it's going to attack Ariel because she's there. She's an available target, so the wolf is going to attack her. You guys hear me this fine? Yep. Good lord. Yep. Uh, she's hit. Good god. I gotta roll a strength saving throw for her. Okay. That's not good. Uh, what is her strength bonus? Plus two. Nope. She is knocked prone. And then... 
She is going to take... She will take three points of piercing damage. It would be six, but she has heavy armor master. And then she will take <coughs> two points of fire damage. So altogether, five points of damage to her. Now, now we know Discord won't work on FaceTime. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's being the near future. Uh, it is now the wolf attacking Joker Jack's turn. Oh, no. Oh, wait, I just remembered. I have to make her have, I have to make her do a constitute, a concentration check. Shield of Faith All is right, concentration. Shield of faith. And she fails. <laughs> uh, you lose mm. your, you lose your bonus AC. Okay. Uh, the other wolf uh, is going to continue attacking its prey. <laughs> As it lunges towards Joker Jack, its maw wide open for blood, it still missed. <laughs> Joker, I would like you, in the funniest way possible, to tell me how you stop this thing from biting you. Stop its jaw closed. <laughs> You watch this thing lunge towards Joker, and Joker just raises the foot and stomps down on its muzzle. Just, no. <laughs> Bad, dog. Bad dog. God, Jinx. <laughs> uh, Klaus, it is your turn. There are two targets available. Okay. Klaus is going to jump up into a 360 and smack wolf with the flat side of his tail. Uh, which wolf? Um. The one over the lady or the one attacking Jack? Uh, let's, let's, let's attack the one doing Jack. Alright, <laughs> roll to hit. <laughs> Al Joker Jack is this. Say again? 13. Uh, 13 will hit. And then six damage. Uh, that will take that wolf out. Tell, tell me how you end this wolf. Klaus literally jumps up, does a three sixty, and just smacks this gra this wolf to the ground with his tail. Uh, I I just had the image that Joker Jack with his foot still on the muzzle of this wolf. Klaus just does a. Full 360 and cracks it on the top of the skull with the flat of his tail, and it just goes out. <laughs> uh, there is one wolf left. Is there anything else you would like to do on your turn, Klaus? Well, hmm? Um. Uh, so I have what a bonus action mm -hmm. left. Yes, you can. You have made an unarmed uh, attack, so technically you can make another unarmed attack as a bonus action as a monk. Okay, I'm going to go over to that wolf and also. Uh, how far away is it? Uh, it's not super far away. It's it's relatively not close. You guys away. are kind of, you guys are clustered a bit together because you're currently around okay. the cart. Okay, so this time he's just going to like briskly walk over to this and just punch him in the face. All right, <laughs> roll to hit. <laughs> I have a 15. That will hit. Roll damage. Four. Alright. Uh, you punch this wolf in the face and it and it <laughs> snarls back at you. It is now Ariel's turn. Uh, Ariel is going to... She used up both her spell slots. Um, she is going to fire out a sacred flame. Uh, what's 
that's her bonus day hit with that two uh, she will miss oh wait Sacred Flame isn't an attack, is it? It's a saving throw, right? It's a it's a it's a dex save. Okay, then let me roll for the wolf. The wolf fails somehow. Uh, do you remember what the damage on Sacred Flame is, Dom? Uh, D eight holy, I think. I will double check just to be sure. How Joker Jag is not getting hit. Luck. <laughs> Hold on, I have a compendium I can just look at. It's 1d8 radiant damage, you're correct. <laughs> okay, cool. You're correct, 1d8 radiant damage, and let's see if she can take this thing out. Uh, she does not. You watch as a small spark of radiant fire strikes this this wolf and it just glares in Ariel's direction Yulant there is a single target what do you do yeah yeah I'm I'm coming at the wolf attacking the lady with my great sword you you rush forward sword raised roll to hit 21. Is that a crit, or just a, is that a dirty 20, or... or? 21. 21. <laughs> All right. 21. 21. 21. 21. Okay. Mm. You're stupid. <laughs> that's a meme reference. Right. I'm assuming that's a hit. That is, in fact, a hit, yeah. It's <laughs> still just a wolf. Okay. So that's... 12 normal damage, and I'm assuming this is probably kill already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. J -j 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 just tell me what the other and damage then is, too. And then five see. additional necrotic. Good. Right. To, to quote Matt Mercer, how do you want to do this? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so, uh, as Yulant went to rush at this wolf, he uh, flipped his blade over and grabbed it by the blade. And with all the pent-up rage that this man has at the world, uh, brings the handguard, uh, the, the yeah, hill. the handguard down on this uh, wolf's head like a like a makeshift uh, war pick. Ah, ah. For honor of the war in reference. Ye. <laughs> All right, you bring this thing down and you crack through its skull and it twitches for a few seconds before becoming still. And once again, the forest is awake, but still too quiet. As you look around, you don't see any other... You don't see anything coming to get you. You don't hear anything coming to get you, but you know deep down that that could all just be misleading. The cart is in front of you. As stated before, it is very clear that there is a barrel missing from the cargo. Right. Uh, <laughs> Yolan's gonna take a second to rip his freaking sword out of this wolf's skull right quick. Right. <laughs> Is close to Joker Jack now. Uh, yeah, relatively. And Joker Jack does get half his stick. Alright, I've never done this in a while. And use Healing Light. On uh, that's not how Healing Light works. Yeah. Does it work? Does it? You basically, it's. You have to walk up to a person uh, yeah. and but cast it. But everybody's close, right? Yes, you yeah. can indeed. <laughs> Whose dog was that? Robot. Oh, wait, y'all are in the same yeah. place. It don't matter. Klaus <laughs> looks at the group and asks if anyone has snacks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Unfortunately, no, Trent. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> that, never mind. I absolutely have snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Ariel will look at the group and ask, Is everyone okay? I'm fine, Dandy. 
A bit rough over here, but otherwise, yeah. That was fun, Costlers. <laughs> A little sore, but better, thank to you. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I, you have. I have to say, I, I didn't think. I thought I would take a lot more damage than I did. Yeah, I honestly thought I'd I'd have you take more damage too, but you know, stuff happens. You can fail. The one person I thought wouldn't take any damage was the one that got beat up the most. <laughs> I know it. Well, to be fair, if you Lunt had have rolled higher, he would. He, I probably wouldn't have been able to hit him, but yeah. the the see that's why I asked before the combat started on if you wanted all of the enemies to have individual turns or be grouped together. Uh, I kind of liked it the way that it was, honestly. Because like, what if they would have been like twenty and they would have just wrecked at the beginning there? That's fair. <laughs> yeah, um, we're just screwed. Joker would like to say something. Anybody's hurt the most, I can heal him. <laughs> uh, I, I believe that would be me. Or, oh, yeah, one of them two for sure. <laughs> uh, Zell, are you half or less? Uh, I'm at 11 out of 25, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty low. Uh, uh, we're, we're, at, we're about the same there, mate. All right. Nah. Uh, you have four uses of your healing light, so you could split it between them. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Uh, descri describe to <laughs> us, describe to us, Joker, what it looks like <laughs> as you place your hands on these two individuals and pass your magic <laughs> into them to heal their bodies. Well, there are two of them. So one light uh, does like pass it through my body, like sharing. Both like like one heals one after it gets done, pass through my body, goes to the next one. Okay. So you watch as this warm orange light um <laughs> radiates from Joker's chest and it makes its way down one arm that's touching Zell, passes into Zell, circles through his whole body, passes back into Joker, passes through his other arm into Yulant and does very much the same thing as you both heal. Um, roll me 2d4 for for Zell, and then, uh, not 2d4, roll me 2d6 for Zell, and then 2d6 for... Uh, 2d6? Yes, 2d6. Like two dice? Yes. Rolling, it is a... Zell, you get back five. You guys still there? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. And then roll again. You launch, you get back seven. Much better. <laughs> As he removes his hands... Much obliged, mate. As Joker removes his hands from you after using this ability, you hear a giggle. A feminine giggle from somewhere. Not sure where. <laughs> oh, this is not good. Always uh, with the gods and their tricks. <laughs> or other such beings. But, and Joker Jack you hear it too. Yeah. You know, you know what it is. <laughs> it's like, it's like, uh, Joker Jet just tip his head. She's it again. <laughs> All right. Is there anything you guys would like to do in this clearing before you take the cart back to the church? <laughs> oh, right. Yes. Okay. Uh, Yolanta would like to go around and start carving pieces over these monsters. You know what Pete is. <laughs> Well, to be fair, you can get things off of them other than that. Uza's not the only person who want who uh, right. is interested in things like this. So you can carve whatever you want off these people, off of these animals. You just have to tell me what you're uh, carving. Where's the? I would like. I would like at least one hide. Uh, I would like to see if anyone wants a heart. And otherwise, I am taking the bollocks stuff of all of these wolves. <laughs> And perhaps, perhaps the uh, 
wings off of some of the imps. All right. Uh, give me just a moment. So we have to do this by a creature by creature basis. Hold on. Am I supposed to be rolling? Yes, we will be rolling something. Yeah. Okay. Is it survival? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it depends on the creature, technically. Alright. So. You're cutting in and out, mate. Alright. So, you want a hide. That's why it's not me up, but it was my internet messing up. Yeah, sorry about that. Am I still am I still no, cutting good. in and out? No, you're you're better fine. now. You're fine right now. All right, so you want one hide? Yep. Um, a heart. Yes. Did she also want journals? Yes. Yes, yes, she does. I said I'm taking the bollocks off of all of these creatures. Uza wants bollocks, damn it. Uza's <laughs> going to get bollocks. Good lord. Well, I'm not touching them. That's your job. Oh, a quick reminder. You all have healing potions that none of you thought about during combat. We have healers, so... What's the well, by the, time, by the time my turn rolled around, I never to. Plus, uh, we had a healer. She was going to take care of it. Technically, you have two. Uh, are there any other parts you would like to pull off of the wolf specific specifically? Maybe an eye or two. Okay. I, uh, yeah, the way I put. Shall... All right, I'm gonna disappear for a second. Yep. Just don't take the eyes out of the one I shot the arrow into, because I want its head. <laughs> uh. So how are you, honey? I can hear 16. you, but okay. These are Bluetooth headphones. Okay. I can hear you. So. How many people are helping with this? Uh, I'll That's help. Good. Okay. Because I want stuff too. All right. Does anyone else want to help? Uh, I still have show. Klaus, do you reckon there's any negative effects to eating the hearts of these creatures? Or is that something you're willing to try, all things considered? I'm not going to try it. Class? I'm so sorry, what was that? Um, Would you like to try eating the heart of these creatures? Well, of course. <laughs> right. Oh, well, we'll, take it, we'll, take an, we'll take an extra heart for Klaus, then. <laughs> Alright, so. Now I have to check what is the... Do, 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 do. Yeah. I need everybody taking part in this to roll survival. All right. And I have proficiency in survival. Yes. Uh, 15 for Yolant. 6 for Joker Jack. 16 for Zell. What are we rolling? Survival. 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 Uh, yeah, before I forget, I just banish Bubbles away. Uh, ban it, uh, Klaus, Bubbles. It's, uh, dirty, dirty 21. Good lord. <laughs> bubbles will not even complain. He'll just go, eh. <laughs> Ariel does Klaus not... Says, oh. Ariel does not assist, mainly because she, um... She very much backs away from the bodies once they're dead and says, No, no, you, you, bo you boys have fun. I'll just stand over here. <laughs> right now, Bubbles. She looks very uncomfortable at the sight of blood. Right now, Bubbles is mm. too injured to fly, so... Oh, she's Tsunade. 
All right. Let me. Cur Oh, right. Yeah, so I'm just trying to jump. Okay. You guys get almost everything you want out of this, except the eyes. You. Damn. <laughs> they're just a little bit too fried from the internal flames of these creatures. All right. But you get a couple of hearts. You get the genitals. <laughs> and you do, in fact, get a full hot. You do, in fact, get at least one full hide. D does that include head? Yes. Hell yes. yes. I now. hope you know I am going. I am going to the blacksmith. <laughs> After this. Now, next up. You wanted to get some stuff <clears throat> off the imp. Uh, I want w I, I want at least one of their hearts and like a pair of wings. I don't know about anyone else. They can do what they want. Are there any pieces you guys would like off of the imps? I wouldn't mind a wing, a set of wings. Okay, wings is fine. I, I feel like he's taking more trophies than Yolant is, though. Yolant's going to I'm be selling. I'm pretty sure that one imp doesn't have a. So we're not getting the hill. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're not getting the head off. Oh, I just want a heart and a pair of wings. I don't know what can be done with them. Joker has a comment. Joker Jack is nudging one of the dead wolves. Anybody know what these things come from? Uh, hell. Uh, yeah, also, gentles. Uh, I don't anybody, think I have to state, but... If anybody would like to make Arcana checks, they absolutely can. Sure. Yeah. To fall. Yeah, no, you don't, don't know anything. Uh, <laughs> now, one moment. Things. Now, while you guys roll, I need to check something. Mm. I got a 12. Because this is how you figure out how what the DC mm -hmm. is. You cannot put it on the next of the thing. Is that a bump on your side? Probably. Shush. Right here. You know what I just realized? Hmm. So, uh, I swung the lowest damage possible earlier on that first, uh, uh, on that first swing after I spent my in uh, inspiration. Really? Yeah, I could've, I could've nixed that just because I have great weapon fighting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I could've done more damage, I just forgot that, that existed. <laughs> Alright, well, Excellent. I have the DC that you guys have to try and... You guys have to try and match to get a couple of pieces off of these, off these imps. Right, and the uh, DC I is, heard a couple numbers in there. The DC is seventy. Fuck. Everybody who wants to can make religion checks. They get added together to meet the max DC. Depending on how high you get, you get more pieces. Oh dear lord, I need, I need. Mm. I rolled a fifteen. Okay, 15. Anyone else rolling? He said, well, what? Well, my religion. 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 I rolled a 9. 24. Okay. Also rolled a 9. I probably rolled two. 33 okay. total. No. Okay. It's a d20. Okay. For religion. Oh, we roll a d20? Yeah, you're well. Yeah, but like, yeah, your you can religion just, is a you can just click check religion check out four. Four. So that'd be thirty-seven total. Uh, uh, I eighteen. Uh, 
13, 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 7, carry 1, 37, yeah, you're correct. 37. Hey, so, could it, since That's I know, I know that he really wants it, so, if, so, can I use my inspiration to give us another roll, or? If you want to re-roll your own roll, yes, absolutely. Okay, well, I'm minus mm. one, so it wouldn't really help me. Uh, I mean, if you want to give it to someone else who you think might have a better roll, yeah. Jo I, I want to give it to Joker Jack, because he only got a four. Okay. Again. And maybe we'll get a higher. It's a 12. You get a four again. Okay, you got a 12. <laughs> that's better, I guess. 12. So Although I am curious, what is his actual religion skill? Forty-five. So you have a, a plus more two. Than you have a fourteen. Fourteen. Then I got. Okay, this. so altogether we have a fifteen, a fourteen, and with the two nines added together, an eighteen. So that's nine. Okay, <laughs> so that's nine seventeen. Nine, 9 plus 29. Or 18 plus 20. That's 47. Okay. So, it's a, so it, above half. So, we're, so you can either get all four wings. We won't or get you, all of it, but we will get some pieces. You, you can either get all four wings or both hearts, but not both. Which would you like? Dom can choose because he's the one that wants them. Okay, I'll get... I'll get one pair of wings for Zell because he wanted them, and I'll pull the heart for myself. Okay. You know what? That works. Two pairs. So, Zell, write a pair of imp wings somewhere in your in somewhere on your notes so you know that you have them. And you can, of course, add all those other stuff to your inventory. Right, Yolant? Yeah. All right. With that, the only thing left is to carry the cart back to town. Do we need strength saving throws? <laughs> uh, I'd say... Or with, whatever. I'd say with the fact that there's five of you here, it's not that hard to, to pull. Okay, cool. How much would you say a wolf hide weighs? You know, there's an actual number for that somewhere in the, in the dungeon map, in the player's handbook? Give me a sec. Okay, hold Wait, hold on. Does that mean I just have this in here somewhere? Hold on. I do not. Huh. Weird. Could have swore that was in here somewhere. I'm just going to say two pounds. I'd give you two pounds. Yeah. Right, and it was... We had all the hearts from the wolves? Yes. You guys rolled... It was three of them? Yes. You guys you guys matched that DC very well. Uh, four. There are four wolves. Right. You, I, I noticed you didn't say anything about the genitals of the imps. <laughs> well, to be fair, one of them was popped by a kick, and the other... Yeah, fair. And fair. The, uh, one of them was popped by a trident, and the other one was smashed into paste by a, by a hoof. I don't think those are recoverable on something that small. <laughs> if there's anything left. Yeah. Um, question. Uh, did... Uh, did Zell get the head of the wolf that he shot first? Because I know he wanted that. Oh, absolutely. You might not have heard it. Oh, absolutely. Right, cool. I'll, give, I'll give him that. Again, you guys rolled really well. I'm just going to write Hell Afflicted Wolf Dick. You know, it's my Four own, of those. It's my what? own fault. It's my own fault. I made I made the comment in session one. 
<laughs> Look, you... I'm going to be giving them away very shortly, alright? I know you will. Unlike Grog's troll dick, it's not going to be rotten. <laughs> uh, is there anything you guys would like to do in this area before you leave? Not really, no. Any investigations you'd like to make to see if you can figure out where the people who took the cart went? Yes, actually. I'm, uh, okay, I'm just gonna take a guess. They got... They got destroyed by the wolves. It's entire, entirely possible, but, you know, you could look around and Or, you know, out. there were demons. Uh, could, oh, yeah. would that be investigation? Yes, it would be investigation. Okay. It could. 19. I'll, I'll give you investigation or perception oh, of your oh, choice. Oh, oh, oh. It doesn't matter, 19. Right, investigation or what? Perception. And here we go. Yeah, Your launch rolls a 19 on investigation. Well, I will roll 20. 13 on perception. Zelda. Oh, yeah. Alright, you guys 20. rolled really well. As you all look around at the environment and you look around the cart, um, you see tracks. You see tracks that they look very much similar to the tracks you found around where the cart originally was. And they go off into the woods rolling something. But as you go further beyond... They eventually lead to a place you can't cross on foot, and you lose track of them. Hmm. Troublesome. Too bad they don't uh, what, uh, what direction uh, is this from where we found the cart? So, it's facing the the temple that you left. This is a this is northward. For, this is directly behind the church, so, like, I guess you'd say south of the church. The direction that these footprints seem to be going seem to be in sort of a south... In sort of a... I'm gonna say western lean. Right. Just marking that down for the report. Right. Um, and with those rolls, you also find that... Um, what can be accounted for inside the cart is several, uh, several bags of wheat, sugar, salt, um, you find some dried meat, which I assume someone tries to pull, uh, Klaus away from. Yolant will hand him one of my ration. <laughs> and you find four barrels of veilstone of different colors. You find some that are blue with, like, streams of yellow on the inside that kind of look like lightning. You see some that just straight up look like they're on fire, but don't burn when you touch them. <laughs> and you find some that are incredibly cold to the touch, like ice. And then some that kind of just look like rock, but as you touch them, there's this strange sensation that it brings you. And then there's clearly a fifth one that is missing. But, and that is well, what you... Well, that's not good. And that is what you discover with those rolls. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna move on. Definitely the element. Yep. Let's take this back and see where we are in the dust saddles. Yeah. You all, as Hopefully you all, they won't be too disappointed. As you all make your way back into town, more accurately to the temple, with the cart, are there any conversations you'd like to have on the way? Well, that was a hell of a thing. Good old-fashioned hillside welcome, huh? Hey, did you guys see that imp I kicked? He exploded. <laughs> oh, it was good. Like I said back then, parties in the hills must be absolutely <laughs> glorious. It was especially pinata style. <laughs> it was all very bloody, said Ariel as she just 
walks alongside you all. If it be in party, why we're not invited? You was there. Huh? <laughs> eh. There just wasn't no presence. You just weren't given an invitation. <laughs> oh, it's at this point that Ariel actually goes, Oh, uh, one, sorry. She pushes Joker Jack forward and pulls the paper off your back. And you hear a ripping sound. And you know what it feels like to rip a, to rip a Band-Aid off? Yeah. That's the, that is how you feel, Joker Jack. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I... <laughs> hey, my back don't need wax. Yeah, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> anyway, I can probably summon another familiar when Bubbles is healing. <laughs> Let's see who. Did is. anybody else hear that giggle? At the end? Uh, yeah. I would assume that would be something to do with Jack's benefactor. Yeah. Yeah, I know her. She usually stops by time to time. She does that. Huh. <laughs> usually you don't see her if she wants to you this year, she lets you know. Usually makes cheap. Very, very theatrical then, your patron. Yeah, she's a patron of joy. <laughs> mm. uh, any who wants to can make a religion check. <laughs> You'd think that your lord would be proficient, he is not. That would be a seven. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you have vague record. I got a 14. Uh, what did you get, uh, Klaus? One. <laughs> <laughs> Klaus is, in an, is uninterested in religion. <laughs> Zell got a 14. Uh, Zell, you are familiar with, uh, the patron of joy. Specifically, she's called the Muse of joy. She is the daughter of the goddess Adonasia, the goddess of beauty, art, and music. Her daughters are hey, I like you. Her daughters are the muses who give inspiration to those that they deem worthy. They're they're, uh, Celestials. Okay. Uh, akin to angels and such. Yes. Yeah. I may not know much about your patron, but I knew, uh, but I do know that she does good work alongside her sisters. Eh. You get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Plus, I help, she helps me make children laugh. When you after I was at a birthday party. I was about to panic. I'm going to admit. <laughs> <laughs> There'd be another holy one. <laughs> not in, not a uh, mental image I needed. The well of darkness is still <laughs> affecting my mind. That there's something interesting. You lot, what, uh, what? How long does Well of Darkness last after you activate it? Uh, I'm guessing about a it, minute. Uh, uh, three turns at the moment. Okay, so yeah, you've uh, you, I, it's wear, worn off by now, definitely. It's worn off, but I'd like to think that it's still clouding my mind as I'm not experienced in the. Wielding of my dark powers. What? How does Yulon feel as this darkness wash it slowly washes itself out of him? It's a bit like a cleanse, I suppose. 
nice to just acknowledge the uh, pent up frustration and other such things he has and letting it go very zen I would think I would still sense confusion probably probably yes You know that's not how familiars work, right? The familiar will literally heal up, like, instantly. Okay. Also, no one's gonna... <laughs> no one's gonna say anything about the cloud of negative energy that he just Yeah, I was gonna earlier. ask, does, does, anyone want to, <laughs> does anyone want to speak with Yulant about what they saw him do? <clears throat> if anything, I would, I would expect our female party member to... Joker just trying to summon bubbles back again. Okay. Zell will actually speak up and ask you all, uh, what the heck was that, man? <laughs> Honestly, not quite sure. First appeared when I broke my oath against that, um, just sort of a surge of power brought upon by emotions or being once again not entirely sure rather new for me as you and me uh, understand remind me not to piss you off <laughs> probably a good idea Ariel will speak up and say you broke your oath. <clears throat> Doesn't that technically make you a, I'm, I mean, an oath breaker? Um. I know there are. By definition, yes. By. Um. I'm not sure what happened. To not cause some Scottish knight to pop out of my shadow and berate me, but. Um. I'm not quite sure how it happened. I would assume some sort of... I don't know, maybe I made a pact with myself or some such. It could be anything, honest. Well, uh... I guess none of us have any room to judge, right? <laughs> We're all as long as I used my powers for good, I don't reckon any... We're all here for the same reason. Do feel free to talk to me if I go a little too far. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like surging my emotions so high may not cause issues in the future. Hmm. Uh, that reminds me. Uh, Zell, how's your arm? Zell, your arm still stings from where she smacked you. <laughs> yeah, it's still burning a little bit. What was up with that? Uh, it's just... That's a good question. Uh, it, it's just how I was taught to uh, heal. By smacking someone. Very forcefully. I mean, it's not exactly easy to... It, you kind of have to heal quick when you're out on the battlefield, right? Um. Sometimes... Yeah. You know. Sometimes is it are, are, are Zell's arms bared? Uh, no. Uh, if you'll go to images, you'll see that Zell <laughs> is in fact wearing like full, uh, leather armor up and down his arms, uh, along with gloves. Okay. I would imagine that there is a bright red mark under there. <clears throat> Probably. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like I'm definitely she... gonna have to break out the ox clean tonight. Can... Leather burns. <laughs> she hit surprisingly hard for being just a averagely sized girl. She doesn't even look that muscular. Tiny Tsunade. Hey, big things come in small packages, I'm just saying. She will all she will say I'm Tiny sorry. Tiny but I, mighty. Ariel will say, I'm sorry I didn't help with the carving of the beast. I'm not quite um comfortable around blood. No That's issue. quite understandable. Uh, <laughs> Gesundheit. 
Best flavor. <laughs> uh, Zell. Yes. Do me a favor and roll history. And you do, and Joker, yes, you do summon back bubbles. He uh, pops back into. Yeah, I need to roll again. No, you don't need to roll. I only made you roll that last time because you were drunk. Yeah. The rat popped up because you rolled a, a seven. That wasn't a familiar. That's just a random rat that you that popped out of nowhere. You don't know why the rat showed up. It was a party trick. Yeah. But yes, you summon Bubbles, and he's just sort of... Put me out of my misery, boss! Oh! Oh, the pain! The pain! Oh! Oh! Mm. He's rolling around on the ground, like a... Like a... <laughs> Does pick him up. Smacks him. Smacked across the face. Oh, we... Are we closer to town at this point? You are. Uh, but first, Zell, tell me what you rolled on the history. <laughs> 19. It's kind of weird that someone who was a soldier in the same military as you is, and apparently was a medic, is uncomfortable around blood. That's very weird. It's the I'm only thing I will say. I'm trauma. Well, I feel like something has something uh, this is me talking to Ariel. Or this is Zell talking to Ariel. Yes. Uh, did something happen that makes you uncomfortable being a medic? I'm fine with being a medic. I just um... Or since you were a medic did something happen that makes you uncomfortable around, like, blood and combat? Um. Roll me persuasion. I don't suppose 13. I can take the help. Huh? What'd you roll that? 13. Out? I rolled a 13. Um, may I take the help action? Yes, yes, you may. Roll again, Zell. Oh, man. I rolled a 13 that time. Okay, so the 13 will... The 13 will be Stand. what we roll with. As you ask her that, she sort of gets this stare on her face. She keeps walking with you guys, but her pace kind of slows down. Uh, Zell, with no rolls, you've seen this look in a... You've seen this look before. It's... You've seen it on the faces of soldiers who have seen far too much. Uh, she says nothing. She's still walking with you guys, but she says nothing. All right. We'll um, by me. the look on your face, I can, I'm, I can understand where you're coming from. Um, I've seen it before. She kind of looks at you. Someone's home. And, someone's home, but they're pretending to not to be. I guess would be the kind of way to describe it. She's yeah, kind the of, lights are on, but nobody's home. Kind of. She acknowledges that you spoke, but she doesn't say anything. Uh, you've seen when this happens, a lot of people tend to go uh, non-commutative. Like, where they just kind of stop yeah. talking. Yep. Uh, you feel that... Typical PTS. Yes, you feel that's probably what's happened at this point. She probably... Well, she she probably needs some time to decompress and she's, she's probably had some thoughts in her, she just arrived in her head that she would rather forget. Oh, 
Well, speaking from, you know, somebody that has seen that and many of my comrades' faces, um, if there's, if you ever do need to talk, my door is always open. She once again acknowledges you and sort of nods this sort of jerky nod but again does not say nothing, anything as you make your way into the back courtyard of the temple um I assume you place the uh cart back where it was originally yes all right uh as you do and the racket that is made uh light bearer gleam uh comes out and sees you all Oh, wonderful, you recovered the cart. But not with everything in tow, unfortunately. Oh? We were set upon by fiends uh, in the clearing we found it, and some additional footprints heading off to the west from there. Hmm. How about how far did it go? Uh... Far enough that we couldn't continue on. I'll inform the militia. As he says that, uh, the you see the very angry, irritated face of Father Throm come out. Gleam, what are you doing out here? What's this racket? Oh, it's you. Oh, joy. I see you brought back the cart. <laughs> Is everything accounted for? No. Uh, we appear to be missing a case, so... The, the glass? Veilstone. Uh, we appear to be missing a case or two. Veilstone, unfortunately. Uh, we did see where the tracks went off to. Oh, you did, did you? Yes. Or perhaps, and he walks up to... He walks up to Ariel. You hit it on yourself! And he's, he immediately grabs her and starts trying to go through her pockets. What do you do? Hi, hi. Yeah, no, no, Yolant's, no. no, Yolant's got him by the throat now. No. Can I make a strength stand. saving throw to get him up in the air, please? Joker Jack or whatever, though. Behind him. <laughs> uh, Yolant? Zell pulls his trout and out just in make, case. <laughs> make a strength or dexterity check of your choice. Um, 12 strength uh, you do grab a hold of him ha! All right. off her how dare you uh, Gleam approaches you and says sir sir Drusso I would calmly ask you to place the father down he is very old. Old. Very dumb. Old, frail, and just overprotective of the items under the church's charge. Yolanta is going to set him down by the stairs of the church, <laughs> specifically. You put him down, he grabs at his throat. No. I ought to sit the militia you on you. <laughs> right, yes. Well, keep your hands off of my party, Mim. Or you're going to find out what here. Ask next time. Or have one of our comrades, perhaps one of the ones in charge of us, do the action. <laughs> yes? Go through... Official passage next time. Now, Gilead, oh, Gilead, what, what is it? Gleam. 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 Uh, yes. Is there anything else we are needed for? No. Uh, I was told right. by Sir Malik that once you were finished, to ask you to return to Third House to be given further instructions. Will do. Uh, also, uh, he will put his hand in his pocket. Uh, Throm will 
grab his hand and says, What are you doing? Don't pay them! They did the job that was asked. They get paid, Father Throm. Pulls his hand away. And he pulls out a pouch. Each pouch containing ten gold. Right. Well, thank you. I each suppose you we have a have report to make. Each of you now have an additional ten gold. And can make your way back to the third <coughs> house. Right. All right. Um, Ariel is even slower in her movements now. She doesn't seem to have taken that very well. Um. Ariel. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna kneel down and, like, piggyback motion. Um. Make. Make a persuasion check with advantage. Nineteen. <laughs> um, some clarity seems to come back to her eyes, and she does climb on your back. Uh, it's worth noting, she is in full chainmail. She's a bit heavy. <laughs> Right, well, I, oh, uh, hold on. I have a caring capacity of 220. I'm fine, okay? <laughs> uh, you pick her up, and she is on your back. <clears throat> well, uh, to base we go, I suppose. Yep. Alright, y'all okay with heading back to base? Sounds good to me. The house is probably stopping by now. Wait, do we should get to the parts of that crazy swamp slime lay? We can we can do so after making our food report. If they send us on another mission, we'll just you know uh, All right. All right. get supplies and such. Yeah, Lunch. we'll do that later. All right, you all make your way back <laughs> to the third house, and with. And with that, we can take a break real quick, because I need something to drink. Yes. Um, if anybody wants to get something to eat, get, like, a snack you or, a a, or a drink, be my guest. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry that combat was such a mess. I mean... I kind of liked it the way it looked, because you know, it made it realistic, and... Hey, uh, there, there's, a, there's a reason I gave you guys the option, because, like, in some cases, having everybody go at, like, different times during the initiative is, like, really... is really useful for, like, in some cases. Other times, it is kind of fun to just everybody have their own personal initiative. Anybody surprised Joker Jack didn't get hurt by the fight? I do think a it's little. Kind of, I, I think it's kind of funny that Joker Jack managed not to take a single freaking hit during that fight. <laughs> lowest AC. He's, an, oh, he's a nifty nimp little guy. I mean, what do you expect? Lowest AC of the entire group, and still didn't get hit. Then the slam his foot on one dog's muscle. <laughs> that was good flavor. That was just <laughs> bam. <laughs> No. <laughs> so, what do you guys think Ariel is now? Well, she was definitely a combat medic, for one. Mm-hmm. So, I'm gonna say a rogue. <laughs> you, the funny thing is, is, like, rogues actually make damn good combat medics. If you build them right, Ugh. they are scary good combat medics. Dom, you back? Uh -oh. 
Oh, there you are. Yeah. Uh. So what what did uh, what did you think of the combat, Dom? I wish I had had a higher <laughs> initiative. I do too. I'm so sorry you didn't get to do much. I I mean to be fair, you got the la you got the killing blow on the final um, on the final enemy. Yeah, and I I was able to make it somewhat. So I'm happy. Yes, it, that was it was it was a great fight. Um like Honestly, I kind of wish I'd thrown in more imps now. Maybe some more, maybe one or two more wolves. I feel like I could have played the I'm, wolves. Oh. I'm going to be honest. The second you introduced the imps, I'm like, oh, he's actually trying to kill us now. <laughs> 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 I told you I I made this a hard encounter. This is not supposed to be, <clears throat> this is supposed to be a bit of a rougher game, you know? Yeah, I, w uh, I was looking for an opening to use Dark Burst. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I'm horrible at names. Uh, Our Lady Compatriot got pinned by a wolf, and as such, she would have been in my blast radius, so that wasn't, uh, going to happen. Ariel, by the way. Ariel, yes. Th I thought that was it, but... She's the Little Mermaid, but blonde. <laughs> not really. That is not where her where she no. came from. I just like the name Oh, uh, I don't like be having to be the responsible person here, but I'm going to be... Ah. Uh. <laughs> you be the dad of the group. I no. <laughs> None of you are my children. I disown all of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what do you think Ariel is now? The combat medic. Almost certainly. Uh, once again, I've, I've said it twice now. Baby Tsunade! <laughs> yeah, I... I didn't think about... I didn't think about that when I came up with that, but yeah, kinda. Tiny but mighty in combat medic. La Brava made manif... <laughs> minus the obsessive love for the people of... Oh, to be fair... <coughs> uh, to be fair, La Brava's... La, La Brava's a great character. <laughs> The Brava is good. Her design makes my teeth itch, but <laughs> <laughs> to, yeah. But to be fair, they they do canonically state that she's that uh, she's like thirty. Yes. Yeah, she's I'm, in her I am 30s. Aware. She just looks like that because possibly because of her quirk. quirks. Because quirks are dumb and stupid. Yeah, because and... quirks are very dumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. When Patrick gets back, I, I, I will tell you guys what her actual, <laughs> what her actual class is, and you're, you you'll either be very annoyed or, or surprised. I don't know. I don't know which. That's still. All funny. things considered, I'm fairly certain she's a cleric. <laughs> <laughs> but still, fly Joker Jack kill a wolf on top of someone. <clears throat> that is true. <laughs> Are we waiting for Patrick now? Yes. <sighs> Alright, so hey, Lakota. Yes. Uh, so when me, you, and Dom were talking about the other day about mine and Dom's class since we're fighters uh, or whatever. Uh, we we had a thing uh, that I could have done. If I'd had an, a higher initiative, it probably would have happened. Yes. Uh, but things just did not fall correctly for me to do it. Yes. Unfortunately. That's the big thing, okay. is that, um... D&D is a game of numerous variables. Things don't always fall as you... You know, like real life. Do you want to know yeah, what I was... Do you want to know what I was going to do if he had put you in the tree? Imps. <laughs> yep. Imps. Yep, I was going to send one of the imps up there to attack you, which meant you would have been stuck up there <laughs> with an imp while everyone else was down on the ground. Where they couldn't reach to heal you. Well, actually, Joker Jack could have healed you through bubbles. So you, your only help mm. would have been the tiny pseudo dragon. I suppose she could also be a paladin. Now that I'm thinking, Let me that is true. She could be a paladin. She could be a paladin. Like life cleric, paladin, couple. Mm. Uh, they're, they're D and D. 
years. Well, like to back to my question, yeah, I was talking about like a basically like a combo move that we could do or something. Well, it, whenever I get the chance, I'm sending you to a high place away from people so, so that you can rain arrows down upon them. So Dominic's race in the game is Aladrin's. Yeah, Fey Elf. Is a, it's basically an elf that grew up in the Fey Wild. Yeah. You know how you're a wood elf who lived, who technically lived in a city and joined the army. Yeah, I I come from one of the from one of the Fey courts. Yes, he is like, he's as close to being a full blooded Fey as you can get as an elf. I am some amount of aristocracy. Yes. <laughs> My 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 people hang out in the woods and smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> He's not entirely Pipe weed wrong. specifically. <laughs> um, but essentially, what he can do because of his race is he, twice per day or proficiency bonus times per day. He can once per long rest. Really? Yeah. It's just that my long right, rest I'm is back. four hours. Right. Um. But what he can... Welcome back. Welcome back, Patrick. Um, what he can do is he can teleport himself. He can teleport himself or, because of the specific court he is currently associated with, he can touch someone and teleport them as long as they're willing. Okay. He would have done that. He has to get consent first. He would have done Well, that. the creature just has to be willing. I don't necessarily have to ask <laughs> them. <laughs> yeah. Although, again, I still imagine in my head you lot turning, no to, turning to Zell and going, Do you trust me? And Zell going, Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> would you like to be in a tree now? <laughs> you want to be a bird. You want to fly. Would you like nothing to be able to hit you unless it has wings? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, everyone here? Yep. Yep. Patrick, you there? Yep. Okay. Ariel's class. Patrick, what do you think it is? Claret. You and Dom are very close. But no cigar. Her class is sidekick. Oh, that, oh, that mm, that's one of yeah. the ones I don't know anything about. Uh, it is technically not a full-blooded class so much as it is a stat block that you can give to a character so that they have special abilities that are unique to them and can fit a wide variety of characters, but they're not as powerful as a player character. It's essentially it's essentially like if you took a class and got rid of all of its subclass abilities. That's essentially right. that's essentially what a sidekick is. Specifically, so she's pretty much NPC crazy. class. Yes, she's the NPC class essentially. Now, where was this? Was it in Fanta? It's in Tasha's. No, I'm I'm trying to remember uh, technically. Uh, specifically, she is a healer. She is the sidekick spellcaster healer with a customized stat block. Right. I gave her I gave her a player character stat line, but all of her stuff comes from the sidekick. I uh, like I said, I am aware of this. I am not familiar. So as of right now, the main things she can do are Robot. she has. The main thing she can do is she can cast spells, and that's about it. She has two spell slots, which she used up in her first turn. Um, 
Um, and she has two cantrips. She has Guidance and Sacred Flame. Her spells so are... So is she Spellcaster? Yes, she is Spellcaster, Healer. Right. Her spells are Cure Wounds, Divine Favor, and Shield of Faith. And I also gave her a... What is Divine Favor? Divine Favor is a spell she can cast on herself to deal more damage. With a melee attack. Okay. She also has Heavy Armor Master. What? Which reduces... Slashing, bludgeoning, and piercing by either one or three, I don't remember. It's three. Right. Basically, she... Basically, she takes less physical damage. Yes. She is a tanky... She is a tanky little healer. That is that is what she is. As Joker Jack is not. Yeah, Joker Jack is a lot less tanky. There's Nimble. Surprisingly nimble. <laughs> <laughs> I did want to, to uh, I did want to discuss something, Lakota just yes. for the moment uh, <laughs> would it be fine if when I pop a well of darkness uh, my fey thing turns to winter hmm I mean, yeah I would be willing to I would be willing to let you do that. I mean, you. Yeah. I I I would be willing to let you do that because I think that's very I think that's very cool, and I think that's got a nice flavor to it. I mean, you do, of course. Right. So why not? I'm going to say when that happens, Yolant gains frosted tips in his eyes, go into a more arctic blue shade, and perhaps a bit paler. Yes, excellent. Right. Just wanted to get that out of the way, had the idea, wanted to get it out there as soon as possible. I'm perfectly fine with this. Right. So, we are making our report. Well, first, is everybody ready to start back? Yep. Yeah. Patrick, you good to go? Batman? Patrick? I've got till roughly 8 o'clock, and then i got to get the boys in bed. Yeah, I figured. Patrick! 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 Somebody ring the dinner bell. <laughs> Dude, if somebody's talking, man, I can't hear it. I'm going yeah, to the hi. call coming in. Hi. Probably a good idea. Did anybody else notice when I said something about dinner, he spoke up? <laughs> yeah, mm. I did. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> Cosmic coincidence. <laughs> it's his own character. <laughs> All right, so we're waiting for Patrick to hook to hook back in. <clears throat> God, my throat. Thankfully, I have a large bottle of water right beside me. So. Well, the issue is I've also I've had congestion trying to come up all day. Don't know what. Uh, my sinus. Is, the sinus yeah, it's been me for the past couple of weeks. Mm, yeah, it's awful. This is the of the weather, man. Right? I uh, hate hey, school this morning. Ah, oh, crap, I should have closed the bedroom window. I mean, you got time. Go run and go do it. We're waiting for Patrick to come back now. Right. I'm going to keep moving the cursor around the screen because I'm absolutely terrified of the computer doing the thing it did last week. Oh, I actually will go to Discord and go ahead and switch the... Oh, I have a text. Got it, too. Uh... Ah. Oh. There we go. You back, Is it Patrick? now? Yep. You hear us, fun? Rick? <laughs> breaker, breaker.
You uh, talking, mate? He's... Well, this is awkward. It is. I mean, just a way that. If we have to, I'd be happy to end the session here. If we have to. But I'll I'll leave that up to him because we did and that fight ended up taking two and a half. They, it, we're at the two and a half hour mark. It says it, it it's loading and won't let him join. Rick? Mm. Okay, um... Probably best to end here for now. Let, let, let's try one thing, and then, right. even if it works, we might go ahead and end here, because, honestly, I feel like the walking back with Ariel on your back is actually a pretty good place to end it. Yeah. Um, so somebody, somebody for me, text Patrick in the group chat to, uh, go ahead and get off the call. We're all going to hop off the call and then hop and then wait like 10 seconds and hop back on. Got it. See if that does it. Okay, so first someone text Patrick and then we're going to do it. I'm texting him now. Okay, cool. Already did. Oh. Okay. All right. So All right, I'm going to do it. him to hop out. Okay. Do. Sorry for everybody watching if this is a little... Yeah, I'll call it this... Or you can see it, we're having... So much scuff. So much scuff. It's just... We're having issues. We're running this on an old computer. Um, we're running this on an old computer. We're still learning things. I was hoping the music thing would work. I really was. But then not. There we are. All right. Can everybody hear me? Yes. Patrick, can you hear? You lit up. You lit up just now. Hello. Hello. Oh, roboted there for a second. Hello. Okay. Hello. Now we can hear you. Okay. I don't know what that. I, like my you know, my internet just went off. I guess. I don't know what fixed. I don't know what fixed it. Us jumping out of the call, or you, or, or you resetting the laptop. Either way, as long as it's fine. All right. Um, okay. So, how does everyone feel? It is getting kind of late, and we did just have that problem. So, what do you guys think? End it here, and then pick it back up later. Um, that works. Uh, also, you want to talk about Friday? Yes. We so. May. Um, Patrick is being moved to night shift, so the best time for us to play at that point will be Friday. Hey, Dom, you haven't said anything. Are you there? Yeah. Okay, just checking. The best time to play will be Friday, but that means there is a Friday in between now and the next time we would have played. So, do we want to try to play this coming Friday, or do we want to skip this Friday and just start fresh on the next Friday? On the next Friday. Now, say we play this Friday. 
Yeah, I'm good with this Friday. If I else. am good with that. Okay. okay. So I'm we have two sessions in one week. Hell yeah. I, Especially I, considering I, that I think this is a shorter session. Well, yeah. actually, no. This is about as long as this is almost as long. Yeah, as it has this been. As, yeah, two and a half. <laughs> it's two felt hours. shorter. It has yeah, I think it's because we were so in combat so long. Yeah, that's the problem with five E combat. <laughs> that is the main problem with five E combat. I am. Yeah, I think I'm going to attempt. I think I'm going to attempt to add myself into roll twenty at some point. I mean, um, I wouldn't mind that. If we could get this in working in roll twenty, it would definitely help. What is, uh, uh, what is, what is roll twenty? What y'all are using? Oh, what we're doing. Uh, oh, okay. uh, well, no. Um, no. They're using D and D Beyond for their character sheets. Oh. Uh, roll twenty mm. is an online virtu is a online virtual tabletop. Where you can play D and D, um, you you can create maps and just play D and D in the table in a uh, on an in an online setting. I thought you were you. No, no. 20. <laughs> yeah, we've been using D and D. Yeah, we've been doing. I can do that too. Are y'all using the app or? Uh, yes, we yeah. are using yeah. the app. Although <laughs> I don't know how you're right, going. Cool. I don't know how you're going to do that with the Dark Knight, considering. They don't have a. Uh, you can't create classes in D and D Beyond. You can create subclasses. Put on their website. I mean, as far as I know, you can't create classes on the on D and D Beyond. Okay, well, yeah, this is all really jank. <laughs> but yes, um, so we're all good with Friday, yeah. 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 All right, hang on. Bro! Get back oh, yeah. in here, we we're forgot about to about end Steven. <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys for hanging out. Sorry for all the scuff. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, that, I, I think that was more on my end. Y'all well, were like putting in and out. And it was on my end too, because... In it completely um, I will like, say, uh, Daniel still hasn't left the, uh, activity. Yeah. <laughs> so that really? might have done something. I will yeah, say probably. that, yeah, Daniel never I left don't... the activity, so that might have had something to do with it. After I was still okay, so I don't know how to leave the activity. There's a little button at the bottom of the screen that looks yeah. like an do open door that turns red when you hover over it. You click that. I click the X mark and then show a door. Hey, you gotta remember we're on mobile. Oh, I also think... want... Also want to everybody to know to look at memes and look at what Dom stamp last week. Yeah, yeah, uh huh, yeah. Yeah. uh huh. <laughs> I'm showing. I'm you know, showing that, that was that's just while well, uh, well around. And then I, I look up like, what is going on with Dom right now? <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging. And out. that's all Final Fantasy fourteen shit. It's a funny thing. This yeah. Is this was so much fun as always. Thank you guys. Yeah, the combat was um, good. I like I like the combat for sure. <laughs> Coda, just right quick. Huh? Uh, is it necessary for you to log off immediately? Uh, no, I'm not gonna log off immediately. I'm basically just gonna turn off the. Uh, I'm gonna turn recording. off the recording in a couple in just a second. But I figured all. Yeah. Of, do all of you want to help me with my outro? Uh, sure. 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 All right. Oh, no, I'm in the gun. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> Just get over here. Fucking <laughs> safe. All right. He was gonna get on Discord. I uh -oh. was going to the next room, though. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you did, please like and subscribe. Ring the bell so you always get notifications whenever we post. And watch uh, the chaos you will, happen. You will most likely be seeing this video. Uh, You'll most likely be seeing the next video on either Saturday or or Friday night. Depends on how late you stay up. But if you, whenever you watch it, I hope you enjoy. And with that, I would all I have to say is goodbye. 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 And good night. <laughs> good night. Here you go.